Are you wanting to turn your photography hobby into a business? Well, I'm gonna share with you my favorite ways to get clients so you can start getting more clients with your photography business. If you're just getting started, talk about your photography business all the time around friends and family because eventually they're gonna catch on that this is something that you're passionate about and they're gonna take you up on a photo session. And that means that you're gonna start being able to build up your portfolio. Now, if you've done this or you've been doing this for a little while and you're looking for other ways to get clients, another thing you can do right now is Go right into your phone and hit up everybody in your contact list and ask them if they are looking for someone or know of anyone that is in need of photo services or that just looking for a photographer. Don't try to overcomplicate it. You can also do this with social media. So you can go to all of your followers and hit up all of them. And then you can also do this with email as well. The biggest thing is, is like, you gotta hit up as many people as possible. And if this is something that you're doing to build your portfolio, I recommend offering your services for free until you've built that portfolio up enough to where you can start charging clients for your work. Networking is also very helpful in gaining new clients in your photography business. And anytime that I'm doing an event, I always go around and speak to all the vendors or as many vendors as I can and exchange my information. And typically what I'll do is I'll try to snap a few photos and send it to them for their social media, just as like a, hey, it was a good experience working with you. And this is something that can be kind of like nerve wracking at first, but it's totally worth it because the experiences and the relationships that you build, people might start to recommend you or they're gonna remember you that way. And that's a way to make yourself stand out from other photographers that they may work with. You can also network with other photographers in your area by going to local camera shops or something like meetup.com or engaging in Facebook groups. But this is really important because if you're somebody that they're friends with, you may be their go-to person if they have to bail on a shoot for whatever reason. Believe it or not, everyone's on social media these days, so post your work on social media. This doesn't mean that you have to have a huge social media following at all. What I started off with was just setting up a Facebook page. Once I got done with the shoot, I would send a sneak peek to the client, and then I would post that sneak peek picture as content, and I would tag them as well, and they would go and like it, and they would share it with their friends, and that was just building awareness of my photography business. And typically, once the gallery was done being edited, I would send them their gallery and then I'd take like the best four or five photos and tag them in that post and then it would get shared to all of their different friends. And then I would just have people start liking the page. And here's a bonus tip though. You can take some of your best posts and this is another way that you can start getting new clients is take your best post, boost that post. So you're basically gonna turn it into a Facebook ad and you can do something like, for me, I started with like a $15 Facebook ad and it was really easy to figure out, like it was self-explanatory. I didn't have a background in Facebook ads or anything and I was able to get clients from it. So that's another thing that you can do to get more clients is run a Facebook ad from one of your previous posts. Now you know a few of my favorite ways to get clients, but if you wanna build a photography portfolio, check out this video next and I'll see you there.